Hello, Tubies. What we're going to make today is a vegetable pancake, uh, which is so yummy. So I've already got everything cut up. We need two and a half cups of vegetables. So I probably won't use all of this. These are red, yellow, orange, sweet mini peppers and carrots there. Now this is frozen broccoli, mushrooms, and green beans, cabbage, onion, and jalapenos. Okay, so let's get our mixture together. I think I want all of this for sure. And this. Okay, I'm already at two cups. <laughs> Smush it and you'll make room for more. And then the onions. Okay, see, you can make it into two cups. <laughs> then we'll put in the rest, the other half cup, cabbage. You know, there's a lot of space in there. And that doesn't count. Those are jalapenos. <laughs> so... I say that's good. You know that was torture even just using a measuring cup. Oh, what the heck. We can't leave those alone. We're just putting it all in there. But you want to be around two and a half cups because we're going to add flour, water, and egg. And so you need kind of proportionate mixtures. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of flour Three quarters of a cup. Is that three quarters of a cup? Yeah. <laughs> three quarters of a cup of water. This is why I never measure. We're going to mix that up. Now this is an added step. I'm going to add an egg. You do not need to do this at all. You can just use that. But if you feel like you want a little extra protein or something, I don't know, add an egg. I just feel like adding an egg. Again, absolutely not necessary. So let's go ahead and put some spices in that batter. I'm using this complete seasoning. And some garlic powder since I didn't put any fresh garlic in here. This is real simple. You spend a little time chopping, but turn on some tunes and jam. All right, and then just pour it over. I think a spoon would work better now. Let's put in some salt and some pepper. And just mix it up.
Oh no, you know what I almost forgot? My favorite, cilantro. It's always something. So mix it up really well. I want everything coated in that batter. Do you see that? <laughs> That's another situation <laughs> where it got too close to a hot pot and melted. <laughs> Ooh, the joys of living in an RV. Things are tight. All right, I think we're good here and ready to get this in the skillet. Now we're going to make the dipping sauce for the pancake. Going Asian style. So about a tablespoon of soy. You do not need this or this. And about half a tablespoon. Uh oh, oh. Okay. That's fine. We'll just add more soy. <laughs> I need more sauce anyway. This is seasoned rice vinegar. I like fish sauce. It gives a little umami, so I'm going to add a little bit in here. And of course, sideways billy there that I melted. I'm going to put about half a tablespoon. Let's see how that tastes. Also, some red pepper flakes. And some sesame seeds. Yeah, I don't even think that's enough dipping sauce. It might be. Okay, that tastes good. Um, try it before you put the sesame seeds in there because they want to stick to the spoon and then you get a whole bunch of sesame seeds in your mouth. <laughs> so try it before you put those in. little bit of vegetable oil. You need enough oil to crisp it. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be thick. Oh my. I actually needed a bigger skillet for this. Doggone it. This is only like a nine and a half across here. I really needed a 12 inch. I don't know how this is going to work out. I put a lid on it because I wanted to congeal. That's way thicker than I wanted. Uh, Should have dug out a bigger skillet. I don't know if this is going to work. It's been cooking for five minutes. Oh boy. I don't want it to burn, though. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, nice! Nice! Oh!
Look how nice and brown that is. Yeah, babies. Wow, we did it. Woo, I was sweating it there for a minute. Now I want to add a little bit more oil around the outside. And then lift that up a little. Woo! That was a scary moment. Probably good I put that egg in there, honestly, to bind it much better because that's thicker than I wanted. So I have the flame kind of like between low and medium. I'm going to have it on low right now. Low to medium. To let it continue to pancake and congeal and pull together. And then I'll turn it up to crisp it. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> I really did want this thinner. All right, let's see how it goes. Ow! Oh, yeah, babies! Look at that. Wow. It's almost like a frittata kind of thing, huh? Okay, if it had been thinner, it would be better, but I'm sure it's going to taste great. Because see, then it would have crisped and stayed together much better. Since it's not going to hold like it would if it was thinner, I'm going to just pour this over the top. Well, this wasn't a complete success, but it was still a success. Mm. As I said, the thing that needed to happen was it being thinner. That's all right. I'm still digging it. Mmm, so tasty. With all those veggies. We'll do better the next time. Sometimes it doesn't always work out perfect. Alright, we're going to have to try this again. Let's assess that dish. First of all, as I said over and over, the main issue of not achieving the end result I was looking for is it was too thick. It was more like a pie. I should have made it into two batches. I think there could have potentially been some other things as well going on. The frozen vegetables retain moisture. Now, I thawed them and drained the moisture out of the veggies, but still, there's moisture in there from being frozen, more than raw. Additionally, I had, I had put salt and pepper on at the end, and I got a phone call, and it sat there for a while. Well, that salt draws moisture out of the vegetables. So there might have been just a little bit too much moisture overall, but I got to tell you, it tasted great. I just wanted a thin, crispy veggie pancake. But I will tell you something I discovered. I ate it all. It was absolutely delicious. If you don't want to use that sauce, you could use any sauce you want. Sweet chili sauce, yum yum sauce, I mean just anything you want. But let me tell you another side benefit to 
eating this besides the fact that you're getting some veggies. Children, it is good for your colonology life. <laughs> it is. Whoa. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, just like life and relationships, assess, make adjustments, and go at it again. Make another try of it. Okay, Tubies, till the next one. Toodles! <laughs>